Harper's Inductive Hebrew Method for Beginners. These lessons will use the Spanish and Portuguese Hebrew pronunciation of London and so will not exactly follow the pronunciation scheme that's provided next to the Hebrew words. Bereshit, Bereshit. So you can see that the only difference here is that the final T sound in the Spanish and Portuguese is always T as it is in modern Hebrew. The Shiva here is more emphatic. Bere, the E sound is long as indicated here. The E is a long E as indicated here. T. So, Bere, Sheet. In beginning. In beginning. There are six Hebrew letters here. B, R, Aleph which here is not pronounced. Sometimes it has the force of a glottal stop, as in the sound we have in ba uh, where the air stops and starts suddenly. And E here um, is represented by the Yud, which is not pronounced. SH is this letter here. SH, Y is silent after the, the E. And this is T. So Bereshit, Bereshit. There are three vowel sounds in this word. The short e sound, Bereshit, like the e in below. So Bereshit. Then we have this sound here, e. It's not like a in they. This is the Eastern European pronunciation. Spanish and Portuguese, it is e. Bereshit. So we have a long e sound and a short e sound. E and e. And then we have e, um, like the i in machine, e, which is the same. Bereshit. Bara. Bara. Two long a sounds. Two syllable word. Bara. He created. Three letters here. B, R, and the Aleph on the end, which is silent here. Bara. There are two vowel sounds, both like the A sound. Uh, A. Bara. Three. Elohim. So Elo, long O, Him, long E, E, short E. Elohim. It's two syllables, Elo and Him, meaning God. It's a plural word, literally, but it's translated in the singular. And there are five letters here the Aleph, Lamed, He, the Yud, which is silent because it's part of the E sound here, and the final M at the end of the word. So, Elohim, and the vowel sounds, E, very short S sound, and then we have the O here, E here, Elohim. It's not O as in note, um, that is the Eastern European pronunciation, not the Spanish and Portuguese. It's Elohim. The accent here, with E, marks this word as the middle of the verse. This is the Etnach, and it's a um, semicolon marking the middle of the verse. It, it is not translated. Um, and is represented in translation here by these two brackets. What it does is it indicates the direct object of the verb. So what was created, this is what was created, the thing that follows. Hash shamayim. Hash shamayim. Four syllables. Hash. The dot here indicates the sin is doubled. Sham mayim. Hash sham mayim. 
the heavens. Five letters. He. Shin. With a dot in the middle. So it's doubled. Hash. Sham. Ma. Yim. The M. Written this way in the middle of a word. The Y. Not silent here, but pronounced as a consonant. Like Y. And M. At the end of a word. Hash. Sham. Ma. Yim. Hash. Sham. Ma. Yim. There are four vowel sounds in this word. A here and A again. Ha. Ha. It's not ha, but ha. It's not ha shamayim, but ha shamayim. This is A here and E here. Ha shamayim. The sign here, which is under the mem, is used arbitrarily in these lessons to indicate the syllable which is to receive the accent when, as in this word, it is the pen out. That's not the last syllable in the word, but the one before. V8. Notice we say this as V and not as W and as T, not as Th. Um, in Iraq, this would be the pronunciation, but we are not Iraqis, we are Spanish and Portuguese. The eight, one syllable, the eight, and three letters, the, the aleph, and the t, the eight, and there are two vowel sounds, the very short e, the, and the long e sound, the eight. Ha aretz, ha aretz. Three syllables, ha aretz. So there are four letters here. H, the aleph, the resh, and the tz sound at the end, which is the final form of this letter. So you only see this letter at the end of a word. Ha aretz, ha Aretz. The accent goes here, where this little vertical line is. Ha aretz. So the vowel sounds a, a, e. And this line, the accent line under the aleph, marks this word as the end of the vas, and so it's equivalent to the two dots one above the other, and it also marks the place where the accent falls. Ha'aretz. Observations. The letters in this verse are Aleph, Bet, He, Vav, Yud, Lamed, Mem, Mem at the end of the word, final Mem, Tzadi, Resh, Shin, Double Shin, and Tav. And the vowel sounds are the a and a, the e and e. And we have the o on top of a word, e and e and e and e. To be carefully distinguished in pronunciation are the short e, the other short e, which is a bit longer, normal e sound, then the e sound, then a and a, and e and e. Above the line, a dot is o, o, and below the line it is e. Hebrew, as we know, is written from right to left. The plural ending of masculine nouns is im, im, as in Elohim, literally gods. 
And in English we have the words cherubim and uh, seraphim. So this ending occurs in words that have come into English. The cherubim and the seraphim. It, it is not translatable. It's a sign placed before the object of a verb. So it's like a little hand pointing, and it's pointing from the verb at the thing that the verb's acting on. When that object is both direct and definite. The preposition b, in, b, and the conjunction v, and, are never written separately. They are always prefixed to the following word. So they're stuck onto the beginning of a word. When we want to pronounce a letter twice in succession, so once straight after the other, then the letter is written once and a dot is inserted here into the middle of it. Um, this doesn't always make it pronounced twice, but often it does. And we'll see the rules for that. The letter of the definite article, the, is h, he. This is the letter he, and at the start of a word it means the. Most words are accented on the ultima, on the last syllable. And those which are accented on the penult, the one before the last, have in this book this sign here. Every syllable in Hebrew begins with a consonant. And this is extremely important, that every syllable begins with a consonant, not with a vowel. Vocabulary Elohim, God. Elohim. Amar. He said, Amar. Note the accents on the end, but the first vowel is long. For English speakers, this is quite hard to do, because our tendency is to put the accent on the long vowel. But it's not. It's Amar. Haaretz. This is easier for an English person to say, because the accents on the um, penalt here. Um, ha aretz. The ha aretz. Earth. Ha aretz. It. It. Pointing. The hand pointing. So this word is like a little hand pointing, like you see in old books. It. We don't translate it. B. Meaning in. B. Bara, bara. He created bara. Note there's two long vowels. Bara. He created. And then we have ha and ha, meaning the. Ha, ha. The, meaning and. The. Marshal. He ruled. Marshal. Marshal. He ruled. Reshit. Reshit. Beginning. Reshit. The beginning. Reshit. Shamayim. Heavens. Shamayim. Shamar. He kept. Shamar. Shamar. He kept. Mashal. He ruled. Amar, he said. Bara, he created. Bara, he created. 